Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today, we're continuing my 2022 year-end top 10s as we look at my number four super featherweight in the world right now at 130 pounds, and that is former two-time world title challenger, Robson Kinsaichow. Kinsaichow entered the year actually at, um, at number eight, and um, <clears throat> after he pretty much what in my opinion was robbed against Oscar Valdez um, in their 2021 WBC title fight um, you know he fought his ass off in that fight and I thought he did enough to win the fight they they gave the fight to Valdez and um, so Ken Saichel, you know wanted to prove something in January he took on undefeated Xavier Martinez and he absolutely dominated Martinez uh, from start to finish 10 round unanimous decision um, one sided and that led him to a second shot at a world title in September after Shakur Stevenson had unified belts by dominating Valdez he would fight Kinsaichow and it was a very intriguing matchup going in because a lot of people myself included felt that Kinsaichow defeated Valdez and now Shakur had just defeated him and considering Kinsaichow is a good boxer it was going to be an interesting style matchup well, the day before the fight, Shakur Stevenson um, came in overweight, did not try to make the weight, so he was stripped of the title of the two belts. The fight would go forward where Kinsaicho still uh, was able to compete for the vacant belt, but Stevenson wasn't eligible, but he faced an overweight guy. Now, do I think he was going to beat Shakur? Absolutely not, but you never know what kind of fight it was going to be. So. He ended his year with a loss, um, another one, you know, back-to-back uh, -back years with, with a tough loss. But overall, he's 17-2 and two with eight knockouts, and he's a WBC's number three contender, but he's 34 years old. Uh, one can argue, you know, he's a young 34 because he hasn't been in the serious mix for that long. But it was a tough break, you know, but he moves up four spots even with that loss because of what he did against um, Valdez and also because of um, the dominance over Xavier Martinez and the fact that Stevenson did come in overweight. So this year, it's going to be about opportunity with Kinsaicho, you know. At some point, I think he'll get a crack at the WBC title. Um, I say they're, the WBC is probably going to order an eliminator um, in the first half of the year between Kinsaicho and somebody else as Vargas and Oshaki Foster lock horns for the vacant WBC title. If Foster wins, I think there's a good chance that Foster and Kinsaicha lock horns for the title in the second half of the year. If Vargas wins, it might be a little more complicated. We don't know if Vargas is staying at one at 130 or if he wins, if he were to stay at 130 or move back down to 126. But um, I personally think Foster is going to win and I think there's a good chance we're going to see Oshaki Foster and Kinsaicha in the second half of the year. But it's all about opportunity. I think if if he's not getting opportunity early, he needs to uh, create one, get himself into an eliminator, take advantage of his ranking in the WBC, and try to get back into the mix. So we'll see what happens. But I think Kinsaichel will at least get an opportunity at either a title or an eliminator in 2023. So that's what I got. That's my number four super featherweight in the world right now at 130 pounds, former two-time world title challenger, Robson Kinsaichel of Brazil. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as my 2022 year-end top tens continue. If you did enjoy the video, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.